Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. So it is Saturday and we haven't done our Saturday walks in a while. So uh, I've had an issue with my foot and it's prevented me from really doing any walking of any kind. I'm just having fun back here. <laughs> <laughs> Goofball. Um, so we are at Chestnut Br <laughs> You're dancing. <laughs> that ain't stretching. That's not stretching. It's not stretching. There. I'm going to leave that in. Okay. People can watch you dance. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go around and show you the park. This is Chestnut Branch Park in Mantua, New Jersey. Now, Michelle and I have done our weekend walk here before. Um, we did a weekend walk here. Boy, I want to say it was almost a year ago. It was one of the first weekend walks that we did. And because I'm just starting with my foot, um, because I've been going to the podiatrist, getting shots in it, x-rays, and they still can't find what's wrong with it, I think we've narrowed it down to two things, a stress, stress fracture or arthritis. So... Neither one is good, but um, I am wearing proper footwear. Um, I have my Hoka shoes on with my inserts, and they do feel good when I'm walking. So hopefully it will mitigate, you know, the pressure on my foot. But we're going to walk around, and uh, if you want to see the full tour of the park, I'll uh, link it down below. That one was more of a detailed you know today's video is going to be the walk but it's also going to be making some ribs that's why we're walking to walk off the ribs i'm going to make later um because my sister and brother-in-law are going to come over tonight and we're going to play some spades so we're really looking forward to that so let's go for our walk and get this part out of the way I love mow lines on a field when you see it's all nice and mowed. I know Michelle likes making lines, but you know, it just looks neat. Looks so fresh cut. I thought this was interesting. They have a bat box on a pole, help mosquito pop, control the mosquito population through natural means. I do know they do bats down at Disney, but yeah, it's funny. They put like a Batman symbol on it <laughs> to indicate that it's a bat box. Usually you see them on trees though. Yeah. You can see it on a pole. But there is a science to it of like how high up it's supposed to be. Okay. So, huh. eh. okay. I don't know what that science is, but, <laughs> yeah. So, we are about halfway around the main sets of fields. I said to Michelle, I think I'm only going to get one lap. lap out of this, you know. So, you know, we're parked over where you see that building in that pavilion. Our car is back behind there. So, and it's funny to see, like, I see some people jogging. Um, and that's just not going to happen for me right now. Although, Michelle said that she jogged. Here, yeah, at one time without you. <laughs> you came here without me one time, right? Yeah. And how far did you make it? About a mile. Oh, okay, yay. Mm -hmm. That's a lot farther than I can do, so. Well, that's probably all I can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michelle was talking about the color coding on the ground. So there's little dots on the ground and they have, we've seen what? Red, yellow, green, green and, blue. and blue. Red, yellow, green, and blue. So far, well, the blue we just saw for the first time over there. So we're still trying to figure out exactly which ones, on. yeah, what goes with what. So, howdy. So, um, we think that we're on the yellow, I think. No, red or, red or green we're on. No, there's three different colors. I'll yeah. show them to you. Well, okay, yellow came up. Okay. Yeah, so okay. let's take the off the beaten path. Oh, I don't want to go that Oh, way. I just hit you in the head. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. No telling where that goes. So the last time Michelle and I were here, it was we went off a side road yep. and wound up getting an extra 
two, two and a half miles. Probably. Because it didn't circle back into the park. It wound up next to a municipal facility and a baseball field. And you had to come back the same way. It didn't circle around. So, big mistake. So, let me show you. Here is the colors on the ground. You can see there is green, blue, red. So, I'm really not sure which path we're on because, like, red path will follow another path for a certain amount of time, but then it branches off onto its own side. So, all right. Now, Michelle and I, I'm actually a little winded because I don't walk that much. But, no, I'm, yeah, they have benches for the, for the week. I'm not weak. I'm going to make it. <laughs> well, we are going uphill. Although, I want to know, are these buzzards up in the air? I don't know if you can see them behind me. Are they waiting for me? <laughs> I don't know. I hope that they don't sense death. Just kind of circling, <laughs> circling overhead. But um, we're getting ready to go into the shaded woods part, which is nice. Get the sun off you. Because it is a little muggy this morning. It is. It's not overly hot. Uh -uh. It's in the 70s. But the humidity is in the 70s as well. So, right? Yes. And I was silly. At least I wore a hat, but I wish I would have <clears throat> put in my contacts and wear my sunglasses like you did because it is bright out. Michelle was saying that the way this is, what does it look like? Jurassic World. <laughs> It's all this brush, brush but it's, it like goes way down there. Yep. I don't know how deep that little area is, but yeah, I'm just waiting for a velociraptor to come out of there, or T-Rex. <laughs> and, and honestly, a lot of it's still alive. There's not a whole lot of uh, dead. Lot of poison ivy. Yeah. Oh, I bet you there's a ton of poison ivy. My <laughs> goodness. On this side, there's water, and I just heard a frog. I'm hoping he goes off again. We'll see. But the water does have, like, a coating on it. <laughs> yeah, now the frog's going to be quiet. Oh, he just did it. Yeah, he wasn't real loud, though. I see a dragonfly on the... Oh, there goes the frog. I'm wondering if I can get this. There's the dragonfly right there. Well, I heard the frog somewhat over the airplane because <laughs> we're not in Jurassic World. No. <laughs> so this is what I, this is what I was talking about earlier. See, so this trail is blue, green, and red. But if you look up over here red splits off on its own over there and on this side the blue and the green continue so they do split apart and this is their memorial uh 9 11 memorial park so um it's nice they have a nice little setup of bushes and a memorial and um, I believe that is a piece of one of the towers. We'll walk up closer just for verification. But uh, I believe this is Yep, it's an I-beam from the World Trade Center. So Michelle just pointed out the Air Force symbol right down there near and dear to our hearts, but it is in front of a block from Pentagon. the damage at the Pentagon on 9-11. Just want to point out they do have, this is the second bat box that I've seen right back there, so at least two, no telling how many more. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's the Batman theme. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. There's a groundhog out here. He's <laughs> having some breakfast. He's eating some breakfast. I get worried though because sometimes they can be aggressive. And it's kind of unusual that he ain't Run running away. away. <laughs> Go on.
Get out of here. <laughs> He's like, no, I ain't giving up breakfast. <gasps> There's another one. Where? Over there behind the tree. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even see both of them. We'll let somebody else walk past first. There's somebody coming up. <laughs> Funny story, that red truck over there that you see in the parking lot, he followed us for a good two miles coming to the park, didn't he? Yep. And I don't know what the guy was doing. He even, he even followed in the parking lot. I made a couple turns. But uh, he still wound up like, eventually he moved to another segment of the lot. I don't think I've ever gotten this close to one. <laughs> No. <laughs> Michelle and I call these guys Freds. You know? I don't know. Just the name kind of fits. The it name does. fits. I don't know. You know. Oh, I'm zoomed in on you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Wow, that that is amazing. Normally those things run yeah. so fast away, and they are fast. The other one is somewhere in here. We are back where we started at the car. Mm -hmm. So. It wound up uh, being, I want to say about a, <laughs> you in the point. <laughs> I want to say it was about a mile and a half uh, mm -hmm. that we did. So just got to start uh, slow. And the truck that I pointed out earlier, I said was following us, is going by us right now. I'm telling you, this this dude has issues. <laughs> I don't know, but he wants to be on YouTube. Yeah, you're on YouTube. I got you on YouTube. <laughs> so anywho. Um, so we're done walking, and now we're going to go to the store, get the last minute ingredients for uh, our dinner today, and we will show you the prep of the ribs once we start. We are done in the store, but I have to say, the increase in food prices is out of control. Crazy. Michelle and I went in and we got some soda, um, we left out with three <clears throat> smaller bags of groceries and it came up to $80. It, it's insane. And we didn't get, we weren't getting ribeye steaks or something. I got, I, I got a, a bunch of bananas, six ears of corn, uh, some snow, sugar snap peas, uh, some pork roll. And that was, that was store brand pork roll. A thing of cheese, butter. Butter was three dollars and ninety nine cents. That was the sale price. Yep. I remember two fifty would be a good. We sale. used to get two fifty butter yep. two years ago, yep. and now all of a sudden we're at three ninety nine. Is the sale price for butter? I told him. I said I noticed it when hers potato chips. If this is regional, hers potato chips. Yeah. They used to be two for five dollars a lot of times. Forever. Sales. Forever. You know, but now they're two for six. I said, I can see inflation, but a dollar? Like, I know. Couldn't it be like 50 cents, 25 cents, 50 cents, but a whole dollar? Yeah. So, so we did, you'd notice on the shelves, not much had a sale sign on it to begin with. Coffee pods. I, I didn't get any because sales, new sales start on Sunday, right. today, Saturday. There was nothing on sale. So I said, I guess I'll have to go tomorrow to get coffee pods for the Keurig. But... Even for the store brand ShopRite, which usually will be like $2.99, $4.65. Oh, yeah. Well, you, four, you rounded, four fifty. Yeah. Insane. But we're going to go home and start cooking. Yeah. So we got home from the market, and <clears throat> I already took a big bite of mine. Michelle's is already <laughs> partially gone. I was hungry. <laughs> He's hungry, too. <laughs> he definitely wants some of the sandwich. But we made bacon, egg, and cheese. Well, Michelle's is an egg white. Yeah. And that's eggs from our chickens. Yep. <laughs> and uh, just American cheese and uh, bacon on an English muffin. English muffins was the one thing I had a coupon for, 50 cents. Yep. But has the sandwich good? It's delicious. Oh my God, it's look. <laughs> there you go. Already saying, please give me some, please. <laughs> okay, we got the uh, deviled eggs done. So. We're gonna have the ribs and the deviled eggs. Uh, the deviled eggs, I have to say, I cook the eggs different than I ever have before. So normally I just boil till done, but I had read somewhere about uh, bring it to a rolling boil and then uh, turn off the heat, but leave it on the burner and um, cover it for 
uh, 15 to 18 minutes. But these are jumbo eggs, so I decided to leave her for 18 minutes. And I'll say they came out perfect. The egg, you don't get that greenish, grayish outside from overcooking the eggs. So perfect is a dozen eggs in water, inch of water over the eggs, bring it to a rolling boil. After it's at a rolling boil, turn the heat off and put, uh, depending on the size of the egg, just cover it for 15, 18 min minutes. So they came out good. Here is the Christmas tree that we bought off of QVC. <clears throat> I think it's a pretty nice looking tree. Michelle put it up. This is gonna stay up all year round. We'll put up our other tree at Christmas time, but this is going to be a seasonal tree. So you can see the blue lights there match the blue lights on the mantle with all of the summer stuff. So our summer is the light blue. And hold on, no, 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 no. I gotta show how we do it. Okay. So let's say it's Valentine's Day. Alexa, change Christmas tree to red. And <laughs> it changes. So let's say it's Halloween. Alexa, change Christmas tree to purple. Okay. Well, it's kind of tough to see on video, but it is purple. <laughs> Alexa, change Christmas tree to bright white. I don't know how to say uh, Alexa, Alexa, change Christmas tree to white. There we go. <laughs> okay. Alexa, change Christmas tree to green. But in addition to changing colors, um, she also lets you do things like, um, Alexa, set Christmas tree mode to twinkle. Okay. So there's twinkle. Alexa, set Christmas tree mode to fade. I don't know how to set Christmas tree to that setting. Uh, Alexa, set Christmas tree to fade. There we go. I said it wrong. So that was my fault, not Alexa's fault. So it will put it steady and then they will slowly fade out and come back on. So this Christmas tree is pretty amazing. We're, we'll be able to set it to different settings, but right now we're just gonna keep it set at steady light blue. Alexa, set Christmas tree to <laughs> light blue. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so even though we're having company, you can follow me, Michelle. I am. <laughs> even though we're having company for dinner, still got to take care of the birds. So what we have, I have their inside food. We'll put that in in a minute. It's just pellets, 18%. We have watermelon and their pellets for inside, but. Outside. Or outside. <laughs> We always got to make sure we give a piece of watermelon to the Chew silkies. Them. Little that is a babies. Lot of feathers in there. Did <laughs> you two get into a kerfuffle? Ooh, there are. Yeah. Holy smokes. There's yesterday's watermelon. We put that in the compost. <laughs> and they got to kind of just clean out their water. It has all those feathers in it. I just changed their water completely <laughs> yesterday. And this is a. Uh, this is Inky. Inky was our first Silky. She's such a beautiful girl. She's so sweet. She is. She is. It's like petting a dog. She's so soft. She's so fluffy. She I'm gonna so die. Fluffy. But she got like broody for a little bit. Yeah. So. I think um, she's over it now. I think she is over. She was sitting inside for a while. No eggs. So. Everybody loves the watermelon. Yeah, they do. <laughs> But yeah, they're like, they're, these are not egg laying, these are pets. Yeah. <laughs> but now watch the, uh, the excitement here. Oh yeah, look, everybody's waiting. They all know, look, waiting. everybody wants it. Hello babies. Hello <laughs> babies. Oh, you guys want some watermelon and some food? All right, yesterday, when I was in here, I stepped in a big thing of poopy. Watch out, <laughs> uh, uh, still a piece in there. 
repaired it. Alright. And we'll come over and we'll give them their feed. Alright. You're not even showing what I'm doing. Oh, I get You're supposed to show the action. <laughs> I, was, I was showing the watermelon action. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and then we got to change the water. I'll tell you, one of the best things we did was to purchase this three and a half gallon waterer because the other waterer we had was about the same size. I think it was a three gallon, but it had a much wider lip. And when they do dust baths, the dirt gets in there and it becomes mud. But in this container, it's significantly less. But on a hot day like today, it's 90 some degrees and it's humid. You have to make sure they have fresh water every day. This thing is still to here. It's still filled to here. But I'm going to empty it out, clean it out, and put fresh water in. Because you want them to have fresh water every day during the heat. Do you want me to go in and get the frozen water bottle? Nah, there's no, no need for the frozen water bottle today. All right. Yeah, when, Michelle just made a good point. When it's really hot for multiple days in a row, what we wind up doing is we will... Um, put a frozen water bottle in here to try to keep it cooler for a good part of the day But yep. it's already like one o'clock in the afternoon um, So and it's gonna you know by the time the Sun goes down It's it's been cooling down enough when we were putting the water bottles in it was 80 some degrees at night And it's gonna go down to like low 70s tonight or I think it's 69. So yeah. I think we're gonna be okay That'd but, be nice. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna change the water and change the inside food and that's it Okay, so it is time to put the ribs in. So we have two racks of ribs. I used a McCormick Memphis Pit rub. Um, they've been sitting with the rub for a couple of hours. And these were uh, from our trip to the commissary where we got four racks like this for less than $12. I mean, look, look, look at my arm compared to the size of the rack. And we got four of those. So we had cooked one a couple weeks ago. But one of the things that I forgot to do, like a dope, the last time, is on the underside of the ribs, there's a membrane. And you have to remove that membrane. Get a little knife, kind of get it till you can, and then just rip it. It's, it's, it's tough, it's slippery, it's, it's tough to get off at times, but you want to get that whole membrane off of there, otherwise your ribs are going to be a little tough. I forgot, like dope. So I remembered this time to get them off. And last time I cooked them on the grill, I think I cooked them too long, uh, too little, too high a heat. So they've been sitting uh, with the rub for a couple of hours. Now it's going to take approximately, um, it's going to take approximately three hours to cook at 275 degrees. So I need to. Go ahead and just lightly wrap them up. That's all I'm gonna do is do that, lightly wrap them up. And I have the harder side bone down, like the angled side down, the meteor side up. And I'm just gonna put them in there. There is no basing or anything, but what I will do is at the two and a half hour mark, I am going to use some sweet baby rays and I'll raise the temperature up to 400 degrees for 30 minutes so that the barbecue sauce caramelizes on it. Yum. Yeah, Michelle likes that. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Bye. This is one watermelon loving dog. Mm -hmm. We share. Michelle shares her watermelon with her puppy. Mm -hmm. So we still have an hour and 15 minutes left but we try to prep ahead of time, getting all the plates out ahead of time, everything on the stove top that needs to go. So, um, and we have a couple plates over here because we're doing meals on wheels kind of for my folks. So, <laughs> but uh, we're getting ready. Michelle just watered all her flowers. Yep, they needed it. Yeah, and hopefully by the next uh, clip in this video, you'll see food. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's so spoiled. That is a spoiled golden retriever right there. 
Michelle and I always laugh because we don't have people over for dinner very often. So even though it's just my sister, I mean, I say just my sister. I love my sister to death. But um, because my sister and my brother-in-law, but because it's company, we decide to put the chargers out under the plates. <laughs> we very seldom put the chargers under the plates, but uh, we figured we would tonight with company. All right, so the ribs are done. This is one rack. Uh, the other one I cut up already. I took some over to my mom and dad, but this is how they came out. <clears throat> Plus we have potato salad, the deviled eggs, and the corn, and the baked beans. And we are sitting here. Rick, Sheila, <laughs> Michelle. Hey. This is my sister, Hello. Sheila, and my brother-in-law, Rick. <laughs> and how much did she eat already? Oh, I ate all my baked Just beans. Yours. But you took all the goop out of the deviled eggs. I licked it out. Uh, you didn't. You didn't uh, eat that stuff. I, I see it over on the eggs. Look, I got the proof right here. She <laughs> double scooped on others. So it's that the treat for other people is what the dinner wound up being. Letting them have extra. All right. Awesome We're done dinner. Everything's off the counter, but uh, Sheila and Rick brought from Maggie Moose Bakery. Yum. A lot of it, we ate a lot so far. We cut into halves oh and everything. God, I ate the strawberry don half of the strawberry. Uh, these are like gourmet donuts to the max. All right, Sheila has donuts for mom and dad. I wonder if they know we're coming. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's dad. Hey. All right. Hey, guys. So dad got a plate earlier of ribs and uh, food. So Sheila is bringing donuts. Thank you so much. Dessert. Let's go inside for a second. Yeah. Is mom around? Yeah, she's right here. Is she? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Almost broke the door. Oh, there's mom. She's sitting there. Hi, mom. Hi, mama. Hi. All right. We're not staying long because everybody else is still over at the house. We, we got done eating and we cleaned up already. You know what's funny is this is like the first time it's just the four of us. You know, like mom, dad, daughter, son. Oh my God, when was the last I couldn't tell you. I don't know, like 26 years ago maybe? It's been like that long. <laughs> when I picked you up from it, the airport when yes. you were in the military. I know. Probably. But you know what's funny is it feels like when we used to eat dinner here, like waiting for dad at 4.45 yes. p.m. every day from DuPont. He'd that come. That terror we feel inside. I know. Where did you, you know? sit? Did you sit? No, I sat there, right? Right. Dad, mom. Jason. Of course, we had a rectangular <laughs> table. It was a rectangular table. Yes, and this table. right here, th there's a door here, but that used to be a window, which is very strange. But yeah. And where I'm sitting, there used we to be used like to, a she wall. She used to hand us lunch, remember? She used to hand Not us lunch through the window as we stood up against the house in the shade because we didn't want the sun on us. So Honestly, I still do that. So. I know. So we didn't want to be in the sun. So I never saw two kids take the outside. It got to a point where I had to let them in because the neighbors thought I was abusing them. But yeah. I just wanted them to get some fresh air. No, no, you never abused us. He did. He beat, <laughs> he beat us with a belt. Like fishing rod across the <laughs> Yeah, I know. I can't even fish anymore. I know. She's traumatized. She can't even fish because Dad threw her fishing rod across the shore. look how it paid off. Look. I got in his yeah. way. <laughs> Well-rounded adults today. Yeah. So. You did teach me a lot. Yeah. I'm very self-sufficient. That was a good thing. That's for sure. We did learn. I mean, from my father, I learned everything I knew about the outdoors and plumbing. And from my mom, I learned everything indoors, including the cooking I do. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. That meal was super delicious. Was everything like was great. Oh, good. See? So, and from my sister, I learned my sense of humor. And your sarcasm. And my sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. But she's really nice. Oh, no, that was sarcasm. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's stupid. On my, I've had it on my list of things to do for a couple years now. What's that? I want to take a picture of you and Michelle, and I want to take a picture of Rick and Sheila, and put them up there with the... With yeah, that'd be nice. I, What's wrong with the ones in the living room? We look better. We were 30 years younger. Just Hold on. I'm going to walk in there and show it. It's a wonder my son-in-law... So, in my mom's living room, we do have pictures of us. 
on the wall. Michelle and me, Sheila and Rick, and all six of our kids. I guess she wants to see the old version of us. She wants to see the old version of us. So this is spades. This is the game we're playing. Rick and Sheila are kicking our tails at this. You know? My brothers. Where's the scorecard? Uh, oh, it just on the... fell on the ground. Uh, yeah. Fell on the ground because of the fan. No. We are losing terrible. No, we're not. Jason. Why I need a pen? No, yes. Because I have to put it, I have to do my time sheets today. They're due by midnight. And if I don't put a big X on my hand right now, I won't remember. Oh my God, that's awful. Right. Give her a Sharpie marker. I just want to say on that last deal that I videotaped Sheila <laughs> dealing, she misdealed. He had the video camera in my face. I, we I got to it. the end of the hand, and <laughs> Sheila had two cards, Michelle had two cards, Rick had I three cards, know. and I had four cards. So Sheila couldn't even deal out right. Come on, Sheila. And I don't drink, so I, I have no excuse. No excuse. Water and Diet Coke. It was all those ribs. The ribs. <laughs> all right. Just gave the chickens tomatoes. And my sister, she loves the eggs, so she likes getting her own eggs. There's the prison. Prison? Jeez Louise. They attack another one. <laughs> so Sheila wants to get her own eggs. Go ahead. Get your own eggs. But she does know that there are fake ones. So Sheila realizes that the next to last box has the most. <laughs> Six eggs, that's amazing. It's like the motherload. Yeah, it is. I don't know if there's gonna be in the last one. Nothing. Yeah, that's kind of mixed. So what do we got? What's the total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Not bad on a but hot I day. I still have two left at home. Well, so now I'll, I'll have a dozen again. There you go. Well, that's gonna do it. So we had a great walk this morning um, over at the park and we had a fun time cooking together. Michelle and I did a lot of things together today. And um, the other thing I wanted to mention is Sheila and Rick gave us a gift. I thought that was neat. She made a bottle with our name and chickens. And it's lights in it, so. I thought that was very nice of them. But we had a great time. Michelle and I, as usual, got both playing cards. Michelle and Rick are just too good. They're too strong at it. <laughs> just can't do it. But thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you when we see you.